Ben Franklin commented that at last he knew for sure what kind of sun was on Washington's chair. It was a rising sun. Everyone felt this was a good sign for the rising young country. Now all the men were anxious to get home. Many had not seen their families for months. Much hard work still lay ahead. The Constitution had to be ratified or approved in each state before it could become law. The delegates had to convince the people in their home states to vote for the new Constitution. Copies were sent to all the state governments. Each of the 13 states would hold its own convention to vote. If nine of the 13 states, or a two-thirds majority, voted for the new Constitution, the new government would be set up. Many people were in favor of the new Constitution, and many were against it. Those who didn't like it were afraid the new government would be too strong, that living in America would be much the same as living under English rule. The debates in the states went on, and in December 1787, Delaware became the first state to approve the new Constitution. Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Georgia, and Connecticut quickly followed. Massachusetts came next in February 1788, after a very close vote in the state convention. By June, after Maryland and South Carolina had ratified, eight states had agreed to the new government. Now, only one more state was needed for the new constitution to become law. On June 21st, 1788, New Hampshire voted yes. America would have a new government. The state of Virginia soon ratified as well.